My name is Bernadette Hernadi, we began to deal with St. Bernard dogs some years ago. In all my life wanted to have a giant-sized, hairy dog, and the whole thing started when my husband bought me a St. Bernard puppy. We completely fell in love with the breed, and we knew that it has become one of our goals that even our children can have these wonderful animals. Because of this, we tried to learn everything about them, and we began breeding them. The history of the St. Bernard dog breed leads back to the 14th century, when the Swiss clergy realized that the travelers of their region are many times in danger because of the robbers of that time. When realizing this, they founded an asylum house where monks were living and working, and they had large-bodied dogs from the first moment. The ancestors of the St. Bernard dogs began to be formed from the 1600s, when some Alpen Mastiffs were obtained by them, and from whom they began to create and breed the St. Bernards. Originally they selected these dogs for guard and protection purposes, and they choose those dogs to include them in the breeding program, who had a stable nerve system, who were large-bodied, and could tolerate cold weather very well. These dogs were used for many purposes, and it soon turned out that, as they have a very good smell, they are excellent in finding people who were covered by snow or fell into ice caves. So they began to use the ancestors of St. Bernard's mainly for these purposes. The dogs were used in pairs, and when they discovered somebody covered with snow, one of the dogs stayed with the discovered man and heated him with its body, and the other dog went back to the asylum house for help. The most famous of these working dogs was Barry, the St. Bernard, who saved the life of at least 40 people. The most well-known case of Barry is when he saved a young boy who fell into an ice cave. As the cave was very narrow, and the rescue team could not get closer to the boy, Barry let him to grab his hair, and he pulled out the boy of the ice cave. In memory of Barry one St. Bernard dog is always named Barry at the St. Bernard Pass, and it has always been the case since he passed away. Barry otherwise worked for 12 years and fell asleep finally, when he was 14 years old. Today, the most well-known public notion in connection with the St. Bernard dogs is that they have a brandy barrel in their neck, and it is a common belief that they carried brandy so that the saved persons could drink of it and get warmer. Unfortunately, it is not true, it is a misconception. The truth is that it was painted first in the beginning of the 19th century by Edwin Landseer, who was a popular painter of his era. When he visited Switzerland and met these dogs, he prepared a painting on which two St. Bernards are saving a frozen traveler. In the neck of one of the dogs, there is the brandy barrel, and nobody knows why Landseer painted it, some suggests that it could be a promotion to a brandy producer company. Although the barrels never were present on the dogs, people fell in love with the idea, and since then the barrels are inseparable from these dogs' images. The official standard of the St. Bernard's was formulated at the end of the 19th century, and of course, it has changed many times, the latest version is from 2006. The breed has changed a lot during the past centuries, but what is constant is that the St. Bernard is a kind, friendly, giant-sized dog breed, a family dog with an excellent nerve system. Although I talk to you about Barry, who is said to be the most well-known St. Bernard of all, I have to admit that there is another dog, who is even more popular. He is Beethoven, the star of the 1992 Hollywood movie. I do not know whether you are aware of the fact that Beethoven was played by a lot of dogs, at least 30. When we watch the movie, we always play that who can recognize more of the St. Bernard actors. On all shows that we go for there is at least one kid, or adult who exclaim that there is Beethoven, when seeing our dogs. In our days, St. Bernards serve primarily as family dogs, and there is a trend that they are used more and more for therapy purposes. This dog breed has a very special character, namely that they are very sensitive for sharp and loud noises. If they hear anything like this, and they see that humans are frightened by the sound, they try to relax humans with their body language and with getting closer to the human. We know that in the USA there are some St. Bernards who are used in crisis situations, like catastrophes, for example, to relax people with their presence. If you are shocked by any event, the touching of such a magnificent and kind animal can help you to stabilize your blood pressure level and normalize the way you feel. Because of their past, the St. Bernards have some guard and protection instincts in them. Although they are friendly and family-centered, they guard their territory, similarly to other dogs. When a stranger come to us, 
We never know how our dogs would behave, whether they let the stranger come in and lick him, or stand in their way and block his way. Usually they do not bite, but they stand between the stranger and us as a physical barrier. It is really interesting to see it as it happens if they do not like somebody, 